So today we're going to talk about the output reports that you can get from Open Studio Energy Plus. And I'm going to show you a, a handy measure that I wrote that you can download from the Building Component Library. So one of the default reports that you can install in the Measures tab is the Open Studio Results Report. If you click on it, you can select whether it's uh, the Imperial System of Units or the Metric System of Units, um, and then you can select um, the various uh, different categories of um, information that you can find in the report. Um, so that's one of the reports, is the Open Studio Results Report. And then the other report that you can find if you go to the uh, project folder and you go to the reports tab, you'll see that Open Studio Results Report as an HTML file. And then you can also look at the Energy Plus uh, tabulation report. Um, and it has uh, almost the same information um, depending on how you go about it. Now, if you want to get additional information in that report, you can go to the Simulation Settings tab and scroll down to the bottom and, and you see Output Table Summary Reports and uh, click Enable on this and this will give you an expanded um, reports uh, in, inside of this Energy Plus tabulation reports. The other thing that you can do um, is download this measure that I wrote uh, and it has um, the some additional reports including the zone component load reports and the air loop component load reports and those are um, pretty handy information to have um, when you're trying to uh, to to diagnose things. So if you go to find measures, recording, QAQC, Set output table to SI units V2 or set output table to IP units V2. So <clears throat> you can use either one of these to output the Energy Plus uh, report to your units of choice. We will select IP units V2, we'll click download. So the building component library is having some login issues today. So we can go ahead and use uh, either one of these. I've got a backup of in my um, measures, and then I've also got a copy of the building component library SI units. Um, so we can just use this one for now for our example. And then if we, um, you can click on it, there's, there's no, there's no options here. So this, this just is going to output it to, um, IP units. Um, but the handy thing with this one is that it will output the energy plus report to IP units. And it will also allow you to output the open studio results report in IP units as well. So we're going to go ahead and click the run. And it was fin finished successfully. And if we go to our um, Energy Plus output HTML file, we'll have to click refresh on the web browser. So it updated this. And if we go to table of contents, um, you can see that these items were added. So we've got zone component load summaries and air loop component load summaries. And uh, these are handy information. So 
this shows you sort of a breakdown of the um, the components that uh, contribute to the lo loads in the zone, uh, and then it also has um, some handy engineering um, checks, and it also shows you sizing and uh, safety factors multipliers in here. So um, that's kind of important information when you're looking at load sizing of, of systems. The other thing that um, this measure does is that um, you can extract this information. So um, you can certainly copy and paste on the web browser HTML file. Um, but sometimes that's not so easy to do. Um, the other thing that you can do is you can go to the project folder and you go to the run folder and now you will see that there is what's called an eplus tbl dot tab file and this is a tabulation file and basically that's that's what this is this energy plus report we just looked at in the web browser the html file it's put into uh, sort of an Excel spreadsheet style of information. <clears throat> and if we open that up, we'll see that um, it's basically the report. And um, you can search for any type of information in here. We'll just search for zone sizing info. And then, so this will just give you the zone sizing information table and um, you can just simply uh, copy and paste it to your um, external Excel file. Um, or um, even better, what you could do is uh, you can paste it as a, as a link. And that'll paste all the information. Suddenly all of that information is linked. And then uh, when you do update those calculations, um, that information will pull through to your, um, to your external Excel calculation file. So that is that in a nutshell. Thank you. Please like and subscribe.